Black Knights met Pennsylvania, an old and honored rival on Franklin Field, but the cadets were without a familiar figure on the bench. After 30 years of coaching, Red Blake was to miss his first game. He was bedded in the West Point Hospital with pneumonia. Early in the first period, the big rabble was on the march. Pete Van hits All-America end Don Hollander, who turns in a sparkling run for a first down. Fred Canarium hits off left tackle now for five yards. The Army line is really opening up the holes, and Tommy Bell on the ride series finds a big hole off tackle and scoots to the pen six. Watch the right halfback, number 46, Tommy Bell. A quick hitter down to the three-yard line. Pete Van flips to Hollander, makes a great catch. Looks like a touchdown, but a penalty nullifies the score. That doesn't stop Army, though. Watch Tommy Bell on the inside belly as he goes for the touchdown. In the second quarter, Van fakes and then throws to Hollander. Don has slipped behind the secondary. So he gathers in the toss and scoops 57 yards for the score. In the third period, it's back to Bell again. He goes for the first down. Pete Van mixes him up. A pass to Hollander. Another first down for Army. That's are playing this one for the old man today. The ride play to Kiaski now. Good for another first down. What precision. Tommy Bell takes a delayed pitch from Van. And with the blockers forming a beautiful bit of interference, he twists his way down to the Quaker 10-yard line. What a runner. What a guy. What a team. And again, it's the explosive bell speeding Coach Blake's recovery as he bursts through for the Army third touchdown. Army displays its ground power again as Kiaski shoots through a big opening and goes for 20 yards. Army strikes on the ground and in the air. Watch this one. A 50-yard pass from Van de Hollander, his favorite receiver. And Army prevails over Penn, 35 to 9. <laughs>